Hello there, my zealots. This is Joshua. Oh, it's dark in here. Let's turn on the light. This is Joshua coming at you today. Hey, how you doing? So uh, today I got in a fight with my helper. Um, just so you know, a little backstory. I'm white and, and my helper is black. And uh, she and I got into a little argument. And the reason is because um, when I first started this YouTube channel, I... Uh, My entire religious career, from the age of 20 to now, um, I have been um, on the outskirts of any modern religious belief system. And because of that, um, I have had on countless occasions, uh, people refer to me as uh, brainwashed, um, a cultist, that's too, <laughs> um, cult leader, um, yeah, just, anyway, and, uh, a, a, a heretic, and, uh, it really bothered me, I, I pretended like it didn't bother me, and I said, I don't care, blah, 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 I don't care, but it bothered me, and I, I I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like it did, so, early on in my career, I decided to, because I, I tried to take a page out of the black people's book because the N-word is something that they completely find offensive, yet they use it themselves to kind of take back property of it. And I'm like, okay, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to try that. That's, that's something I'm going to do. So I, I opened up a Facebook account and called myself Brainwash Zealot or BW Zealot. And then, uh, I, uh, I started this channel and I called it Christian Universal Life Teachings, which had a phenomenal acronym. I called all my subscribers Brainwash Zealots, just trying to take back the name, just desperately trying to take back the name because, or the, the word, because it really got to me. It really bothered me. And I was just desperately, just desperately trying to take it back. And it didn't really work. And, and then it's interesting because like the whole purpose of the word cult, like there's... If you think about it, the word cult, sect, and religion are all the same freaking word. They're they're exactly the same. And just the con like the emotional connection to those words are different. If I say religion, oh, that's a religion that I don't find threatening. Um, it's a religion that I don't see any problem with or I agree with. Um, it's a religion that I, you know, I find no fault with and I'm happy to coexist with. Sect is something I know nothing about. It's a religion, it's a doctrine, it's a dogma. I don't bother them, they don't bother me, blah, blah, blah. And then there's the cult. And and it's so funny, because I've been a part of so many different churches. Um, and it doesn't matter what church you're in, the, uh, whatever church you're in is not a cult, okay? The church that you are in is not the cult. Every other church is the cult, you're not the cult. It is a religious slur to call somebody brainwashed. It is a religious slur to call some, call a religion a cult. It is a religious soul, a slur to call somebody a cultist or a cult leader. These are all religious slurs. The reason that my helper and I got into an argu argument is because I asked her, very politely, I was like, hey, she brought up cult in, in the conversation. Like, you know, I really preferred if you didn't use that word cult. And she's like, well, I don't like people telling me what I can and cannot say. I'm like, well, you wouldn't want me to use the word. And I, I'm going to say N word here, but I actually use the real word there to try and evoke the emotional response. And I used it and she hung up on me. Because she doesn't want me using that word and I don't blame her. She doesn't want me using that word and I don't blame her. And I go out of my way to make sure I don't say that word because I don't want to offend her because I love her and I care about her. But she couldn't give me the same courtesy. And so I showed her the hypocrisy of it. And then she texts me back. She says, um, 
what really bothers me is you don't see a difference between the two. And I'm like, if you then explain to me the difference. And after a long amount of time, she said, I texted you this whole long thing, but if you want to know the difference, you figure it out. I'm like, well, that's not my problem. You're having an issue because I asked you to do something. You refused to do it. I exposed your hypocrisy and now you're taking it out of me. Not my problem. This is, I would have been upset if it was anybody, uh, honestly, it's, it, but I wouldn't have been able to say anything because most people that call people cult, like that are in, oh, you're a part of a cult. Most of them are like atheists or agnostics that actually don't belong to a part of a religion. And they basically think any religion is a cult and at least that's not hypocritical. But if you're a part of a religion and you're calling somebody else's religion a cult, or if there is a certain word out there that bothers you, if people say, and then you start saying a word that bothers other people, that's hypocritical. We are supposed to avoid division. Um, we're supposed to get everybody united on the word of God. Now that's not possible, but it's a goal that we should strive for, that we should try, attempt to achieve. But it's, it's, a, it's, a, tough, it's a tough road. I've lived my whole life on the outskirts of Christianity. And why? Because I made a promise to God. I told God, I said, I will do whatever you tell me to do. I'll sacrifice whatever you tell me to sacrifice. I'll go where you tell me to go. And I'll say whatever you tell me to say. As long as you don't make me like them. And from that day to this day, when I was 20, 20, um, when I was 20 to the day now, which I'm 43, um, I have been on the outskirts and I have been the, the cult leader, the heretic, the brainwashed zealot, as it were. There's this woman at work, friendly, we're hanging out, blah, blah, blah. She finds out about my beliefs. She won't even look at me anymore. I know she says stuff about me behind my back, whatever. The things that people say, it's, I have been dealing with this my entire spiritual career. My father, is considered a cult leader. Um, now, my, me and my father don't agree, but I just, anytime I hear the word cult being used, it just, it bothers me. Because there's really, there's no point to it. There's no goodness in the word. All it's meant to do is dehumanize a person so you don't have to empathize with them. They have just been deemed evil. You put this label on them and now you don't have to reference them as human anymore. Everybody has their own beliefs. Everybody has their own concepts and their own lifestyles. But for some reason, we just can't seem to keep, keep ourselves out of each other's business. So, I, I'm coming here today to try and expose this hypocrisy. And, and I love my helper. I really do. She's awesome. And, you know, everybody has, everybody has fights. And I don't hold that against her. Um, and we'll get through this one too, because we get through it. I mean, we fight a lot. Well, we don't fight a lot, but when we do fight, we agree on a lot of things. But when we do fight, it it takes a bit to get past it. But we will. I just, I have a really hard time with hypocrisy. And I think one of the biggest reasons is because of the way I was raised with my father. Um, yeah, I... Well, I wasn't raised by my father. I was raised with my mother. And my mother said my father was a cult leader my entire childhood. 
And so I was very worried about getting to know him, becoming part of his life. Because, you know, who wants to have a father who's a cult leader, you know? I didn't. But then I got to know him, I got to understand him, got to learn what he had to teach me. And then I realized that he knew what he was talking about. None of what he was teaching was a lie. Everything was based in the Bible. I couldn't refute any of it, even though I tried. Well, later on, there was a few things I refuted. And that's what ended our relationship. But the point is, without what my father had taught me, I would not have the beliefs that I have today. And because I told God this, I'm almost positive that's why God sent me to my dad. Because my dad gave me a phenomenal spiritual foundation that I could not have found anywhere else. Paul says, I believe after the way which ye call heresy, believing all things written in the law and in the prophets. If you believe every word of God, you will be considered a heretic, a cult, cultist, a cult leader, heretical. You will be persecuted and hated and despised by everybody because you believe evil things which are not evil. That which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination to God. And the reverse of that is also true. That which is highly esteemed among God is an abomination to men. Women submitting to husbands, ha men having multiple wives, um, you know, not running the currents of your head, no matter the currents of your beard, women covering their hair. Um, I mean, garment with ribbon to blue and zit seats. I finally got some zit seats. Aren't you proud of me? Um, yeah. So I guess what I'm, this whole video is about is just be careful who you call a cultist or a cult leader or a heretic. Rather, instead, judge them not based on what label you've assigned them, but based them on what you they know and what they believe. And if they believe differently than you, that that doesn't make them inherently evil. I just think it's just hate speech to use the word cult, cult leader, brainwashed, heretic. I think it's just hate speech. And if you're using it, you're just trying to make people look evil. Anyway, I digress. I'm just repeating myself now. But the point is, I just wanted to bring this to your attention and um, uh, just to let you know, I'm probably going to make this video channel more of a vlog. Um, God is always a part of my life and I can't stop talking about him. But I'm having a hard time coming up with things to teach. So instead, I'm just going to talk about my day and then tell you how God applied to it. You know, I think that would be just a better use of this channel since I can't live stream anymore because YouTube disallowed it. Anyway. You know I love God because I love justice, virtue, wait, virtue, justice, and salvation. I usually go in order of chronology. <laughs> virtue was first. Um, all right. You guys have a blessed day. Peace.